back really quiet. <laughs> I want to clap just because I feel bad. <laughs> Somebody yeah, start the slow clap. Just something. <laughs> Look, she's tough though. Yeah, I've seen her fight before. Yeah, she's not no slouch. No, definitely not. And just taking it last minute. And she's a tiny little thing. With a six pack. I just hate girls with a six pack. That's fucking annoying. <laughs> I like carbs. That's when someone's like, oh, if you, you know, you stop eating this. I'm like, have you tasted garlic bread? <laughs> with have mozzarella. You tasted bread? <laughs> And then when they say no, you go, terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Your mom didn't hug you. Here we go, we're off, ladies and gentlemen. Tomasello in the green shorts, Chrissy the Dolly and Dolly in the American shorts. Her kicks are so fucking annoying. Yeah, I've eaten lots of Chrissy's Me toes too. In, in training. She's so bony, everything <laughs> she hits with hurts. And looking at you like, yeah, okay, I'll spar you. Until Ooh, you get nice hit with yeah. something <laughs> like that. You're like, how did I even get hit by that? <laughs> And repeatedly. I'm like, Chrissy, I officially know how your toes taste. That's horrible. <laughs> I'm like, I'm glad I know you shower. <laughs> <laughs> Her back looks ridiculously ripped up, too. Give me some face, Give me some face. 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 It's like you see her hands all of a sudden, these feet just flying by. No, it's annoying. She's all limbs. I think her legs are like the size of my entire body. You know, and she knows how to use her range really well. Big shots right there, and an answer by Tomasello. This is the most relaxed I've seen, at least, too, though. Yeah, she does not look like she took the, the fight on like a day's no, notice she looks at all. Like she's ready. Yeah. I still won't want to fight her limbs. Oh, shit. Fight her limbs. That's so <laughs> annoying. We we'll changed Chrissy's nickname. Limbs. <laughs> Chrissy Limbs. Limbs and can't No longer limbs. the doll. <laughs> no longer just, the doll. Just limbs. <laughs> <laughs> no, because as a long fighter, they don't usually use their range, and she's really good at using that range. That's round one in the books. This is a four-round fight, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I would have been gassed after the first five seconds of that. <laughs> if, if I had you taking that on a day's notice. Yeah, no, yeah she, looked, she looked good for really good. Now, I know you're not allowed to take an inhaler. That's just known, even though 
Hardy, Hardy doesn't Greg know Hardy. that. Yeah. I don't know how he doesn't know that. <laughs> That's just pure stupidity. So stupid. But are you allowed to have a quick sandwich in between rounds? I'm all for the sandwich. I, I think as long as it's packaged, right? <laughs> I think so. But USADA. There you go. I got a question for you ladies. What's one thing that you could see improve in women's MMA, women's kickboxing to help the sport grow? The hoes. They got to stay <laughs> home. 100%. Because you know what? We try so hard, and the girls that aren't about that, it's like we step like four steps back every time there's a girl that's in there just trying to get a piece of ass or try to get ahead because of the looks. And then when you get in the fight, that's not going to help you. And then the promoters that actually promote that, too, though. Is because you're a pretty fact. face. Yep. You know, and back to Cyborg. Look, no one likes the way she looks, but you know what? She's fucking She's badass. She's a beast. Yep. Respect that. It should be about skill. Just like guys, you're not measuring them on their dick size. You're measuring on them how they fight. It should be the same thing for women. I we, agree. I agree. Well, well put. <laughs> well, we burned our bras. I mean, how many years ago? Let's, <laughs> we're allowed to vote. Let us fucking actually fight for who we are, not what we look like. Big right, right there by Chrissy. <clears throat> But I, I, there's a lot of what you said I definitely agree with because, like, I'm – Oh, shit. You think about it, like, you do journalism for MMA and then you're covering it and then you see women – I hate to say it, but some, some people who want to cover it as, like, they're a female, but then it's, like, they're no, following so big because it's MMA, MMA – Naked shot, naked right. shot, MMA. And I'm look, like, well, that's what they're following. You look at the views and everything on certain things. And sex sells, I get it, but there has to be more substance if it's about the sport. Nice. And it falls on both sides. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's like, hey, don't, if, if we want it to grow, we can't follow that kind of stuff. Exactly. And we work so hard to be, uh-oh, oh, Elise man. is in trouble. Yeah, Chrissy's really finding her range right now. Chrissy's very comfortable, really relaxed. Oh, shit. I give Elise credit, man. She's staying in there, though. Yeah, she's not folding. She's still fighting back. She's, she's eating heavy shots, too. Big shots. Chrissy's just starting to really open up and get comfortable now. Those kicks. Those, she looks like she's getting so close, and then the kick comes. Nice. Because I know in Chrissy's head right now, she's, she she likes Elise, but she's pissed off that she would take a fight on short notice, too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby just called it. The end of the fight. Wait, really? Yeah. Why? He just walked over and said it's over. Alexis Phoenix just said it's over. Is she okay? I don't know. Oh, shit. Thanks, Chrissy. 10 o'clock. Awesome. <laughs> seven oh, minutes. seven minutes to spend. Come on. Impressive showing, though, first two rounds for Chrissy. No, definitely. And Chrissy just started to get comfortable and really start to open up. Now, I'm curious what the injury was that stopped her. I mean, it might have just been that they saw that it was just, hey, why keep taking the damage? I mean, True. she took Let's a lot of damage safe. that round yeah. for sure. I mean, props to Elise for sure. Just, A, for taking it last minute and against game, such a too. seasoned fighter. That's a tough way to start your professional career. No. This was her first pro pro yeah. Wow. Even more impressive. On a day's notice. Wow. Yeah. Much respect to Elise for sure. She gets lots of props. That's it. Chrissy sparring next Sunday. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no excuses. No excuses. I need her reach. She didn't get hurt. <laughs> yeah, but that, that she got a whole week. That's yeah. That's when she should be back anyway. Plenty of time. Yeah. Eat, carb up, have your ramen, and right back. I think that's cool, though, that uh, you girls have everyone come in on Sundays and uh, train. And it's all different levels, all different ranges. I mean, if it's not for her and my, uh, my friend Paula, who's like, 5'2 and like 90 pounds soaking wet. You have me, you have Chrissy, Kelly, Ashley. I mean, we have all different uh, sizes too, and we all work really well together. Great fight. I hope Indeed, that okay. was. 
Yeah, I hope she's okay, too. You don't want to hear about the first fight in. No, and especially taking it on such short notice just yeah. so Chrissy had a fight. Yeah. And hopefully that girl that didn't really get arrested actually takes <laughs> a fight one day. <laughs> I was born a day. It wasn't yesterday. That bitch did not get arrested. I kind of hope she got, I got arrested. No, <laughs> she's lying. <laughs> The funny part is, it was the uh, the guy, the coach that was talking crap about me that uh, sent the message. I was oh, like, no. oh, <laughs> this is interesting. Fantastic. <laughs> so after Chrissy talks, we're going to do a quick wrap up of the lovely evening. Awesome. Very short notice. How are you feeling this evening? And uh, who, what were you preparing for this evening? There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Chrissy Ndoli, the champion, ISKA. And we're going to wrap up this e lovely evening of Jack Cameron Promotions as I stand alongside Jenny Nadell, Jillian DeCourcy. Uh, earlier in the evening, I had Craig May versus Malik Smith. Excellent fight. Craig May comes out after taking off some time and gets in there and does some work. No, that was good. Good fight. And then you have going on, you have my Je Patrick Puzo versus Jeff Benesh. Puzo getting the unanimous decision. And then moving on to Corey Callender, those leg kicks were beastly. Nasty. Those uh, add up. And then Kelly Boyle walks away with a devastating head kick that made Lindsay Valentine's head explode, blood everywhere. She owes me a beer. She owes <laughs> Jenny here a beer after that uh, head kick. His blood went all over the tables right in front of us. But how much has Kelly improved? From the last time she's fought. Drastically, night and day. Way more comfortable coming forward, throwing combos off that spin. You know, I love the spins. That was pretty. She's good. She's starting to come into her own, and she listens to her coach. That's half the battle. Most definitely, and she continues to rack up the wins. And then we have uh, Devin Worth, who comes in, take, uh, fights another fighter who's taking it on short notice. Well, he was supposed to fight tonight, but fight someone else. They rematch them. Devin Worth gets a big knockout. Impressive no limit fight for him as well. And then you have Orlando Ortega versus Diego. Such a good fight. fight of the night easily. What were some points you could take away from that in Diego versus Orlando? I just think the seasoned fighter, and again, no disrespect to Orlando, but Diego's been around. He's fought the top, top level guys in big promotions. That does a lot to your mental psyche and just makes you stay relaxed and calm. And when you're calm, your punches come quicker. You see stuff, you're in the moment, you're able to counter that and work to your advantage. Most definitely, and so Diego walks away with that victory, and then you have Enrique Lopez and Alfa Torre, who oh, put definitely a contender for fight of the night as the heavyweights put on a spectacular pace throughout that fight. For big boys, that was a good pace. And as Alfa Torre, we just showed he's a little bit too much, as I think Lopez just you know, lost a little bit of oxygen throughout the fight as he slowed down. Because he was landing those one shots if he was throwing in combos. Hi, <laughs> Chrissy congratulations, and champ. <laughs> And so Hi, then, Dad. Chrissy and Dolly, and we're Hi, going Mom. right to her fight next as she's over here. Chrissy, congratulations on your victory. T tell us how it feels to get that victory and that belt around your waist. Um, well, I think this belt weighs more than I do. Um, <laughs> but it, it felt good coming off my last loss, um, which, you know, I don't feel like I should have lost that fight. I definitely did, but I shouldn't have lost that fight. So coming out here and taking that fight tonight and um, – Having the dominance that I feel like I had in that those two rounds, uh, it makes me feel pretty good. As Jenny pointed out, you were really starting to open up in the second. Uh, I'm a slow starter. I'm a slow starter. That's why I like longer fights. <laughs> I like but, to warm up a little. But you definitely got your stride in that. So what's next for you? Um, I want to see if I can keep an opponent through one entire fight camp. But, you know, that doesn't really seem possible as of lately. So we'll see if anyone wants to try and take this belt from me. But I don't really think they're going to want it. 
Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you get back in there. Maybe they won't get arrested, you know, two days before the fight, so we'll get a world. <laughs> so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Jackhammer Promotions, Fall Brawl 9, winner of the main event, Chrissy Ndoli right there, the doll, walks away with the ISKA title. And I'm Kyle Carroll alongside Jenny Nadell, Julie Jillian DeCourcy, <laughs> and right now, Chrissy Ndoli, and we're out for this evening from OK. He's in Wantor, New York. Thanks.